so I usually faint, so I, I should probably lay down and she's like, oh, you'll be fine. So I found out on Monday and um, I ended up making a doctor's appointment as soon as I could. So when I went in on Wednesday, um, we first did a pee test just to kind of confirm if I was pregnant or not. And I did, wasn't thinking and I drank a ton of water before I went in. I've been, well, I've been drinking water like crazy all week. Not like crazy, but a little bit more water than I usually drink. So I drank a bunch of water and then by the time I did the pee test that they gave me, it was so diluted. Um, they told me that there was a very fine line showing that I was pregnant, but it, they didn't want to necessarily confirm it. So I, they ended up getting me to do a blood test as well at the lab. She did like, I don't know, so many vials of blood. <laughs> so the blood test was for a bunch of different things including confirming that I was pregnant, um, checking if I had any diseases like HIV or anything like that that could affect the baby in some way. Um, they also wanted to check some of my nutrient levels because I told her that I have been vegetarian now for almost a year, so she wanted to check B12 and iron and maybe some other stuff. Um, there was more vials, so there must have been more tests. I think she just wanted to know like what my blood type was, uh, things like that. I'm not even completely sure. Just to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, I'm scared of needles. I always have been. And whenever I go to get a needle or to give blood, I always tell them that I usually faint, so it's probably best that I lie down. And they're usually really good with it, and I always get like the best people, and then I don't faint because I'm lying down. But this time, she she didn't get me to lie down, and I was like, so I told I think I told a different lady at first, like, oh, I probably faint, so I should probably lie down. And she's like, oh, okay. And then it was a different lady that actually took my blood. And so while she was sitting me in the chair and she was, like, putting the strap around my arm, I'm like, oh, just so you know, like, I didn't realize she was going to do it right then. <laughs> I was like, so I usually faint, so I, I should probably lay down. And she's like, oh, you'll be fine. And then she got my husband to come over and she's like, you just have to keep her awake, like, as if it's that easy, just keep me awake. So yeah, she ended up taking my blood, like so many vials of it, and I just wasn't looking. I was looking at my husband, and the whole time she was taking it, it was fine. Not fine. It wasn't fine. It wasn't fine, but I was okay. I was like, okay, hey, I'm holding it together. It's been a while since I fainted, because usually I lay down, so I, I'm not really, I don't really know how to, you know, faint or keep myself under control, but I'm like, maybe I can just keep, keep my cool and everything will be good. So I was just looking at my husband, I'm like, yeah, it's going pretty well. She was done with all the vials of blood, and we were still talking about things, and then, um, yeah, and then I looked at all the vials of blood, and I was like, oh, that's a lot of blood. She's like, no, no, it's not very much. She's like, when people donate blood, they donate like half a liter, and I was thinking half a liter of blood in my head, or no, no, sorry, not half a liter, half a pint, and I was like, trying to imagine how much half a pint was. I'm like, I know how much half a liter is. I know how, to, how much a pint is. How much would half a pint be? And I was trying to picture it in blood. And then, um, I don't know if that's what did it. Maybe because I was trying to think in so much detail. And then I was imagining myself giving that much blood. And then I was thinking like how much blood is out of my system right now. And then we were, she was still talking to me about things. And then all of a sudden the tunnel vision started. Um, that's the only way I can describe it, but it's more like a TV screen when it goes all fuzzy and that's like my vision started to go and it just goes fuzzy and it goes darker and darker and then my hearing kind of goes too and I was looking at Vince and I was sort of kicking him and I was like in a panic like kicking him like trying to signal to him like it's happening, I'm fainting but he wasn't getting it. He's like what, what's going on and I'm like I think I'm gonna faint, like I think I need to lay down and the, the nurse is like, no, you're fine, you're fine. And then it kept, it got darker and darker. And then, and then it just kind of went blank. It felt like I was asleep in bed or something. It felt, yeah, it basically just felt like I was asleep. Like I was having a dream and then, I don't know how long I was out. Vince said, um, 15 seconds maybe. And then, um, 
I just kind of felt like I was waking up and I heard the nurse saying like, Susan, Susan. And yeah, and it just felt like waking up from a dream. And then I could feel that Vince was like holding me because I guess I just kind of like fainted like that, right? So he was making sure I didn't fall over. Um, yeah, but so basically I fainted from getting my blood taken and I know it happens. <laughs> I know that that happens and I told him, I told him it happens, but she's just like, oh, you'll be fine. And really I was fine at the end of the day, but it's just like, you could prevent that. They could easily prevent it by just letting me lay down. Um, after I woke up from the fainting, I felt super uncomfortable. They gave me some juice, like they, that's what they usually do. They give me some juice. Sometimes I get a cookie if I'm lucky. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, but I was still sitting, I was still in the sitting position, and I just, like, I felt sweaty all over, like, the back of my head, just everywhere. I felt so sweaty, and I was just so uncomfortable sitting there. I was like, I can't sit here anymore, like, I need to lay down. I need to, like, my head to be level with the rest of my body, because I think what happens is basically my blood just, just doesn't go to my head. It just, like, my blood just drains from my head. Um, when I faint, so, yeah, <laughs> So anyways, um, she's like, well, I don't want to take you to the bed because you might fall down. And Vince is like, don't worry, like, I'll, I'll make sure she makes it there. So we did uh, end up making it to the room that has a bed, and then I lay down for a little while, and then it was a lot better. Like, even laying down for a second, it was like, oh my god, yes, this is exactly what I need. I just need to lay down. It felt so much better. I felt comfortable finally, so that was good. Anyways, I look forward to talking to you all again and definitely give me some comments below. Let's start like a little conversation here. Okay, thank you very much you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.